first, Turf War. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, Turf War battles are the locals' favorite pastime. Two teams of four will ink for three minutes. The team that inks the most in their color, in other words, claims the most turf, wins. Now, that's not all inking is for. Ink walls to swim up. Or get sneaky and hide in ink to splat opponents. The more ink you spread, the bigger the advantage you'll have in battles. Whoops. If you're out of ink, submerge in it to refill. New techniques like the squid surge to swim up walls in a single burst, and the squid roll to jump out of ink while simultaneously turning around have also been spotted. Oh, while it's glowing like this, the move also slightly repels ink from opponents. We've discovered where these turf war battles will take place. Stages confirmed for the Splatlands include... Scorch Gorge. Eel Tail Alley. Mincemeat Metalworks. And Undertow Spillway. There seem to be other stages as well. Hagglefish Market. A pier filled to the bream with street vendors. The stuff here looks fishy, though. Several stages from Greater Inkopolis also return. Museum Delfoncino. Battles here take place in the central courtyard of this modern museum. Take special note of the rotating wall. Hammerhead Bridge. This bridge connects Greater Inkopolis to the Splatlands. After lots of construction work, it's finally open. Thanks to the bridge, transit to and from Greater Inkopolis is much easier. Mahi Mahi Resort. A luxury resort in Greater Inkopolis. Pay close attention to the platforms that sink as the battle goes on. There will be more areas to ink afterward, so don't forget to splat them. Including the stages you see here, a total of 12 await. More stages will be added in free post-launch updates.